Hi, I'm Jorgen Vogi. And I'm Nick Nazzoli. Today we're going to be exposing you to a fairly recent and innovative construction material called photovoltaic roof tiles. We will be talking about what exactly photovoltaic or PV roof tiles are, how they work, and pros and cons of this unique building material, as well as some other interesting information about them. To begin, the term photovoltaic comes from the Greek word phos, which means light, and from the English word volt, referring to electricity. The word photovoltaic itself denotes the method of converting solar energy into DC electricity using semiconducting materials that exhibit the photovoltaic effect. The photovoltaic effect is the creation of electric current in a material upon exposure to light. The direct conversion of sunlight to electricity occurs without any moving parts or environmental emissions. You may know this technology as solar power. So what are photovoltaic roof tiles? PV tiles are photovoltaic cells that are integrated into and designed to look like conventional asphalt roofing shingles. These tiles vary in size based on the brand and the type of shingles that you're trying to match, but they're typically between a half an inch and an inch thick, and they vary in design. PV products are also designed to be non-reflective, so the most solar energy can be captured by the unit, as opposed to reflected back away from it. These PV roofing tiles are also very durable and tough. Or ordinary asphalt shingles are designed to, for the sole purpose of protection against UV and weather damage, but these tiles provide the additional purpose of containing photovoltaic cells that generate usable electricity for its host building. Although initially they may seem fragile, uh, they're actually designed to support being walked on during installation or roofing renovations. The color of the photovoltaic cells themselves are always black because it is the only color that absorbs all wavelengths of light. Despite this fact, the surrounding housing material can be any color that's desired to match the existing roofing elements of the house. As I said earlier, the shape of the tiles really vary based on the type of existing shingles that the homeowner and the contractor are trying to match. The materials that are used uh, to construct the PV roofing tiles are silicon cells that are joined together to form circuits that are then protected by a strong piece of glass in the housing material. Solar shingles became available in 2005, but were much more costly than the traditional bolt-on solar panels you have seen in use. So the solar tiles were used primarily by those wanting to go solar who had the resources to maintain a more costly but traditional roof line. However, as technology has advanced, the price of solar shingles has quickly dropped into competition with the more traditional panel. Subsequently, their popularity has surged. So how do these photovoltaic shingles work? Essentially, each individual photovoltaic cell absorb photons of light and release electrons. When these free electrons are captured within the cell, the result is an electric current that can be used as electricity. Once installed, all of the tiles are joined together and connected to an inverter box. This box is then connected to the house's electrical supply and the energy can be used by the home. Excess electricity can even be fed back into the power grid and added as a credit to your power bill. The obvious advantage is that power generation from solar PV is clean and sustainable energy source. These systems produce clean, emission-free electricity that can be used cost-free by your home. This requires some upfront cost, but the good news is that due to advances in technology and increases in manufacturing scale and sophistication, the cost of photovoltaics has declined steadily since the first solar cells were manufactured. Since just the year 2011, the average price of a completed PV system has dropped by 33%. There are also many government incentives for energy consumers to transition to partial reliance on solar power. A typical PV roof tile installation of 350 shingles can cost a homeowner of over $20,000, but federal, state, and local tax breaks can cut that cost in half in some areas. Costs have started to come down, and federal government is still offering a 30% tax credit with no cap on purchase of solar electricity equipment. Solar energy itself is overwhelmingly abundant and while expensive, 
over the time, these tiles will eventually pay for themselves in the cost that is saved from other forms of energy production. With current technology, photovoltaics recoup the energy needed to manufacture them in about a year and a half, depending on the region of installation. At the right latitudes and in the right climates, solar voltaic energy can be a reliable source for 12 hours a day, 355 days a year. Despite declining prices, the upfront cost of solar energy is still quite large and deters away many interested homeowners. One shortcoming of solar power is that photovoltaic cells are not 100% efficient. Even though the tiles material is designed to minimize reflection, rays are still deflected or energy is lost as heat. While generating energy from the sun produces no emissions, the facilities that are used to create solar tiles produce more emissions than any other production facility of clean energy sources. Another drawback to solar is its dependency on the sun. This makes the use of solar technology less effective in some places. Also, when the sun is down at night or the sky is filled with clouds, solar tiles cannot be used as a base load energy source. Complete dependency on solar energy requires the addition of an expensive battery storage system. The 122 petawatts of sunlight reaching the Earth's surface is almost 10,000 times more than the average power consumed in 2005 by humans. PV installations can operate for decades with little maintenance or intervention after their initial setup. So after the preliminary cost of installation, operating costs are extremely low compared to existing power technologies. When deciding on whether to pursue PV roof tiles in your next roofing project, it seems that if you can afford the upfront capital, it'd be a well-advised investment in the long run.